Hello and welcome to my second video tutorial on 1 to 3D design and in this tutorial I would like to show you some things on how to work with uh, 2D sketches which is a very nice and powerful uh, way of modeling and uh, which is being used in, uh, in many uh, CAD applications. So to start with the sketch uh, you go here sketch and then click on for example the polyline and then it asks you to, okay, on which plane or on which uh, face are we going to sketch? Uh, which in the first case is just our grid plane. So we just click here. And now we can draw some lines. Uh, the funny thing is that you can just uh, basically do anything that you like. Um, just make sure that it's kind of straight. It would be nice and uh, do it also a bit more intelligent than I do uh, just to have a closer look. So let's do that. Can I do that when I do this? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, you see also if you just hover over this point for example and then you move away then it should give us yeah, um, a green line which means that okay I'm now in the direction of the point that I hovered over so I click that and then I go to the other point and then I click to that so now the sketch is closed and then it turns brown which means um, okay perfect you can use this sketch for further things that you want to do with it it also gives you a, a nice green V which is all nice um, you know that like I, I did not really put measurements to it and that we are going to do now. So click the sketch and then you already see some uh, measurements. Mm, let's make it fit. No, zoom out a little bit with the zoom. Um, okay, so now you see some dimensions but you cannot yet change them but you can at least see what they are. To change them you have to click the... or do you have to click it? I think you just hover over it. Yeah, you just hover over the, the gear symbol and then you go to edit dimensions. The dimensions are gone. How fantastic. Uh, but you just click this line and then put it here and if you double click this dimension then you can change this to, well, let's say 30. Um, we do the same here and this we also make 30 and this we are going to make um, well I'm in a creative mode so let's take 15 like that 15 you see that this is not yet uh, straight so if I now click these two I can make an angular dimension of 90 like that and I still have to put one here which is also going to be 15 that's good uh, again with the right mouse button you can rotate your view a little bit and now we are going to extrude this uh, did this here under the construct buttons so if you use the extrude then you have to click the sketch or the shape that you want to extrude which is this and you can now pull this arrow like this or you put in a number I put in a number of 10 and then I click enter and now it's done nice shape um, there is unfortunately a little missing feature and that is for example if I now want to make this 40 for whatever reason I can change this dimension I make this 40 and the sketch changes but the solid that you just created doesn't change unfortunately so, if you want to change this, then you have to uh, tweak the faces, then you have to push-pull and other functions like that. Still, while I am continue working on this uh, solid, I might not like to 
view this uh, sketch all the time. So I can hide this with this button and then I say hide sketches. Makes your display uh, a bit cleaner, which is nice. Now I want to make a hole in this face that goes down. So I make a circle. If I click on the circle, if I click on the circle, what's going on? I don't know. Ah, uh, click on the grid. So, okay, so I uh, just click this face and now I click again for the center of the circle and dimension doesn't really matter yet and then I'm done so I continue with an enter. Uh, I want to make dimensions from the center of the circle to some edges of the model. These edges of the model uh, one to 3 d doesn't know yet so I have to tell um, to include some extra lines from the from the solid into um, into the sketch so I go again to the sketch and then all the way to the right this is quite a difficult part so yeah it's called project and then first it asks you to select the sketch so you really have to go click somewhere in this circle you click in this circle it knows which uh, sketch we are using and now I click this face and then I'm done and now again I click the circle and I have this little gear symbol and now I do the dimensions and then I can click the center of the circle I, I can select this point and now like that I can also make a dimension let's say this is 7.5 and this dimension is voila and it's gonna be 5 and uh, radius the, the diameter of the circle is going to be it's going to be 6 good that's done so with enter I leave the sketch again and now I can extrude it through the block here so I go to the construction tools I say extrude I select the circle and here I have to tell okay I'm going to cut so cut and cutting is always in the negative direction and make sure that it's just bigger than the volume that you have to extrude through which is now 15 so if you do just minus 20 you can already see here that is going through okay I can also uh, click on this face and say snap to minus 15 which is more intelligent so you cannot confuse yourself with uh, the dimensions uh, and again I hide the sketch and like this you can um, you can create very nice shapes I'm just checking if I now can also move this yeah I can tweak this by selecting the cylinder oh that's interesting it's not um, oh, that's that's a pity it's it's not straight so if I now move it then it's not moving in a straight line it is moving in a straight line but not uh, on 90 degrees angle unfortunately uh, but this is the way how you can change uh, so changing the sketch uh, doesn't really work as we have uh, discovered before uh, but still you can build quite a lot of technical shapes for 3d printing in 1 to 3d design I wish you all the best luck in the world